Hi, I'm Song Michael Shia. This is an explanation of in context learning as implicit Bayesian inference. This is joint work with Aditi Raghunathan, Percy Leong, and Tanya Ma at Stanford. Modern large language models do in context learning, where they just condition on examples and then predict on a test example. In this example, uh, in this uh, names to nationalities task, we append a test example after some training examples and then ask the language model to complete it. The language model might complete brilliant or Polish, but the large LM is able to detect the task from training examples and then output Polish. Intriguingly, no parameters are optimized during this learning procedure. And in context learning gets impressive free shot accuracies on NLP tasks. So why is this surprising? During pre-training, the language model is trained to predict the next topic. It's not explicitly trained to do learning from examples. And in context learning prompts are not formatted like natural language. They concatenate independent examples of a task together. So there's a distributional mismatch between documents and prompts. In this paper, we propose a simple pre-training distribution where in context learning emerges. In this distribution, documents are conditioned on a latent concept data. Think of Wikibio text. A Wikibio text concept might look like full names transi transitioning to nationalities, transitioning to occupations, and etc. Concretely, in our theory, the concept is a hidden state transition matrix of an HMM. So to sample a document, we first sample a concept data. We, uh, we condition on that to define an HMM, and then we sample the document. The sentences in these pre-training documents share a concept, meaning that they have a long-term coherence throughout the document. So to predict coherent next words, the language model must implicitly learn to infer the shared concept internally uh, in order to predict the next words. Now, if the language model also infers the shared concept data star shared between the training examples and the test example in the in-context learning prompt, then in-context learning emerges. Now, the main challenge here is that prompts are low probability sequences. The picture to have is that within each training example, we have in-distribution transitions that re reveal information about the, the task data star, the con task concept data star. Uh, but between independent examples, we have low probability transitions. So why should the language model work on these low probability sequences? We show theoretically that if the signal about data star is greater than the error from low probability transitions, then in context learning succeeds. Interestingly, information in both the inputs, the X, and the input to output mapping also uh, uh, both provide signal for in context learning. Using this understanding, we've, we constructed JINK, the, in, the generative in context data set. It's a small scale data set for studying in context learning. In this data set, pre trained documents and prompts are generated with a latent concept structure from our theory. Uh, so we find in Jink, when we pre-train on Jink documents, in context learning emerges for both transformers and LSCM architectures, meaning that the result is architecture independent and that the main effect comes from the pre-training distribution. We find that the latent concept structure from our theory is important. When the pre-training distribution only has one latent concept, then in, uh, in context learning fails to emerge. And for data with random transitions where the model has seen all possible token transitions, it's not able to put them together at test time to do in context learning. We see a number of real world phenomena in Jink as well. We find that in context learning accuracy increases with the model size, uh, even if the pre-training loss is the same. So there's a benefit to model scaling. Um, we find that in context learning accuracy is very sensitive to example ordering, which mirrors GPT-3. And also we find that zero shot performance is sometimes better than one shot performance. And this mirrors GPT-3's behavior on some data sets. And the hypothesis is that low probability transitions from concatenating examples can initially hurt the performance. So some takeaways here are that in context learning prompts are low probability sequences due to its special formatting. In context learning can emerge from modeling long range coherence in the pre-training data. The language model implicitly does Bayesian inference despite the low probability prompt sequences. And using this understanding, we created Jink, which is a small scale test bed for studying in context learning.